If you'd like to look super stylish but you're on a tight budget, then this video is for you. I think most of us are really feeling the pinch at the moment and for a very good reason. So today I wanted to share some of my top tips and tricks to help you always still look stylish without breaking the bank. First up, it's time to set yourself a little bit of a challenge. Now what I mean by this is head into your closet and don't come out until you have created two brand new outfits using clothes that you already own. Most of us only wear a tiny fraction of the clothes that we own, so now is a really perfect time to just invest a little bit of time playing in your closet and creating some looks that you haven't perhaps thought of before. It's really not as hard as you might think. It's all about getting in there, having a bit of a play, putting together some unexpected combinations, and I bet you surprise yourself. But set yourself the challenge of heading into your closet and not coming out until you've created two amazing new outfits that you can put on at a moment's notice, notice and feel great in. My next tip is to use some of the technology that is available to you to help you save money when you're shopping online. My favorite online shopping app to help me save money is ShopTagger, and I'd like to give a big shout out to the team at ShopTagger for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of ShopTagger before, then listen up. So ShopTagger is absolutely free and all you need to do is download the ShopTagger browser button which sits on your toolbar. So when you're shopping online and you see something you like, you just click on the little button and save it into ShopTagger. You can save things into lists for easy finding and when an item you've saved goes on sale, now here's the kicker, when it does go on sale, ShopTagger sends you an email to let you know. Like I said, it's absolutely free and you can use it on your desktop or your mobile phone. The other great thing about ShopTagger is that it shows you coupon codes that are available for the items that you're keen to buy. So you no longer have to go trawling the net looking for those coupon codes. They are part of the ShopTagger app just to make life easier for you. ShopTagger also has this really cool cashback feature and some of the items that you purchase are eligible for cashback so it will show you when you're buying them that you can receive a portion of the sale price back to you within 90 days after you've purchased it. So it is really cool. It's almost like getting paid to shop, but kind of, but not quite, but it does mean that you get a really cool discount when you buy. ShopTagger is also running a really cool giveaway at the moment until the 31st of July, 2020. And basically the winner receives any purchase of their choice up to the value of $1,000. So that is a super cool giveaway. So I'll leave all the details to the competition and how you can enter in the description box below. I will also leave a link to ShopTagger so you can download this really cool free app that is guaranteed to save you money. It's worked for me and I know it will work for you. My other tip may seem a little strange, especially coming from me, but it's don't be influenced. Now it's all too easy to scroll through Instagram or look online at your favorite influencers or even YouTubers and be tempted to buy pieces and buy them without spending too much time really thinking about whether you need those pieces and whether they are going to fit into your lifestyle. It's all too easy for us to be influenced when we are in the moment, but then we spend that money and it may not be right for us. So I'm I suppose just suggesting that you err on the side of caution when it comes to influences and how much store you put on what you see online. Don't get me wrong, I love following influences and I love being inspired by their style and their lifestyle and how they live their lives, but I do think we have to be really careful not to get too carried away and purchase pieces that we one can't afford or are just not right for us. While we're on the subject of influencers, I'm always keen to discover new influencers to follow over on Instagram. So please drop in the comments below a couple of your favorite influencers who you really love their style or their lifestyle. I would love to find out who they are and who you follow. My other tip is to consider designer dupes. You may have your heart set on that Gucci belt that everyone's wearing or everyone was wearing. I think they still are. 
um, or that Gucci handbag or Louis Vuitton. Now what I'm not suggesting is going off and buying a knockoff of those but what I have seen a lot of high street labels have taken inspiration from some of those favorite designer pieces and they've created something similar but different for a fraction of the cost. So I think if you really would like a designer piece but you can't afford it, there are designer dupes out there that look really cool but they won't break the bank. If you really don't want to forfeit that designer label, there are some really good websites. I will link them down below. One that comes to mind is The Real Real and they sell secondhand designer pieces. They're all legit and you can buy them with confidence. So so again, if you really do like designer pieces, consider buying them secondhand. Generally, they're in very good condition and you can save big time on these pieces. My other suggestion is to look at swapping pieces with a friend or family member that has the same size shoe as you or has the same style or fits the same clothing as you. Let's face it, most of us bring out pieces for a new season and we probably will be lucky if we only wear half of those pieces. Our friends and family are going to be in the same boat. Why not catch up for a bit of a, a girl's catch up time? Bring some of the pieces that you're not wearing. Maybe you could even look at creating outfits for each other and just helping to inspire each other. Or maybe you swap out some of those pieces that can help you create your own new outfits from other existing pieces that you own. So it's about thinking outside of the square and utilizing other closets and other friends and families fashion items so that you can extend your own. My other tip is to consider menswear and I have talked about this in videos in the past but menswear tends to be incredibly affordable especially compared to women's wear and the quality is generally much better for what you get. So if you were buying a blazer uh, in a menswear store for $60 as opposed to a women's blazer for $60, you generally find that the menswear is much better quality. So whether it's shirts or blazers or band tees or whatever it may be, definitely consider looking at the menswear section for some affordable quality pieces. When it comes to looking stylish on a tight budget, it's also important to remember the fashion rule of proportions. Now, I'm not hugely into fashion rules. I think we need to just loosen up the rules and have some fun, but the proportion rule is actually a pretty important one. So basically what that is, if you're wearing a floaty oversized piece on the, the top half of your body, then you need to wear something a little more stru structured on the bottom and vice versa. So if you're wearing something a little tighter fitting and more form fitting and structured on the top, you can wear a fuller skirt. So it's about balancing those proportions. Once you crack those proportions, it instantly gives you a streamlined, stylish look. When it comes to shopping on a really tight budget, I always suggest buying blacks or neutrals as opposed to prints. The neutral colors are just far more forgiving and it's really hard to identify them as a budget piece. So they tend to just look more stylish and sophisticated and they're a little more timeless as well. My last piece of advice is that the detail really matters. Just little things, like if you can't afford to shop for new pieces, think about making sure that your nails are looking good, whether you've just got a little clear varnish on your nails so that they look well cared for, maybe take a little bit more time with your hair, with your makeup, learn some new makeup tricks, or perhaps stick with more neutrals in your makeup. It's these little details that just do add up and help to create a stylish look. So you might wanna just add in some little accessories as well. Often when we're time poor or busy, we forget to swap out our jewelry. So just those little details can really give any outfit a stylish edge. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.